Q93, your number one for hip-hop and r and I'm Sheba Songs. You are tuned in to NOLA Next. You know we got to do it for the locals. And the hottest artists make their way right here in the studio. Tonight we have the one and only, the hottest rapper in the city, and the social media sensation, P-Town Mo. Wooka, 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 oh, Lord, he's wooka. done early. <laughs> What's good with you? I'm cooling like a smooth. Can't wait to Tuesday. What's up with you? Ole. Like a love. Well, love, I do have to thank you because I followed your directions on that Valentine's video. <laughs> oh, the girl got hooked up, okay? <laughs> got me some beats by Dre. I know everybody saw that Valentine's video. He dying uh, laughing. Well, like, what was in your head when you made this video? Oh, man, Valentine's Day. Me being single with no Valentine's. Oh. Yeah. Oh, P. Mm-hmm. P-Time Mo needs a Valentine's Day um date for next year. Yep. We're recruiting now. It sure is. Check them DMs. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not about to play with you, but I appreciate you for coming, stopping by. Yes, man. I see you got a busy schedule and stuff. Yeah, man, all through the day. Party bus don't stop. The party bus don't stop. Rock a rock. Yes, indeed, mm-hmm. Rockefeller 2.5. In Jesus' name. <laughs> <laughs> but, P, for people who don't know your story, how did P-Town Mode get started? Well, um, man, for real, for real, I got I, I started I started with the music thing way when I was, like, 11, 12. And um, to be totally honest with you, mm-hmm. it started in LTI. And LTI... Is the baby Angola? What? Yes. Really? Yes. I was. I was. I was. I was uh, confined. I was doing time at a young age, and I just used to rap, 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 rap every day in the jailhouse. And when I came home, I got my brother back into it, and we started a group called Gangsta Connection, and that was just like just just for the hood. Then after that, we wound up running across uh, J Dog. Mm-hmm. From Black Menace, you know, and he was with Big Boy Records, and then we went to the Big Boy Records situation, try to you know get in on that, but wind up just dealing with J Dog personally when he started Menace Entertainment. Mm-hmm. And at that time, me and my brother changed our group name from P Town, I mean from Gangsta Connection to Foolish. You feel me? And then J Dog wind up going to the Feds, so then we moseyed around and. Got in juvenile ear and mm-hmm. got in canon able ear, you know what I'm saying? And then, but between that, I had started dealing with like like my longtime friend Josephine Johnny, mm-hmm. and then started dealing with Fifth Wall Weeby. So that's what made me come with P Town Mo. That's when, when you got into like the bounce and stuff. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? When they when when, when Weeby held down the Fifth Wall, Johnny held down Josephine. I'm like, well, I'm gonna hold down P Town. Mm-hmm. So, you know, that's that's why that's when P Town Mo came and you know, then I just follow Weaver's steps. You know, he used to you know, he, he took care of me a lot. Oh, that's good. Me? He was like your mentor? Man, more than that. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. like he took care of me a whole, whole lot. You feel me? Like brought me around a lot of people, took my advice on a lot of things, 'cause like like Weaver 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 was good with 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 he knew how to rap, but mm-hmm. he knew how to do party rap better. And I knew how to rap better, so we blended that, and I was showing him a lot, and he showed me a lot, you know what I'm saying, as far as keeping the crowd together and things like that. So I was I was his hype man forever. So when you say party rap, what's the difference? Party rap is 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 rap for the people who who want to party. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like instead of the the ones who want to just- shoot them up, bang bang, and all that. You know what I'm saying? What they call gangster rap. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like, nah, we, we just treated it different. I'll come to me? the party rap. <laughs> yeah. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? So 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 we, we, we treated it like that. And um but but we be so he you know, he took the Cannon neighbor route, so I took that route with him and I bought my brother mm-hmm. along with that. And that's when we created uh like right in the in, in the middle of that. We were still foolish, but then we we done the P Time on MT. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So it's been on and popping ever since. Yeah. That was very interesting because I never knew your story, but I've always heard of you since I was a little girl. Mm -hmm. You know, I had a classmate saying you were her uncle. I just found out she was lying (laughs) (laughs) all those years. But you had a hit with Baby Boy the Prince. Uh This is the way I live. And, 
you also take over social media. And a lot of times artists come in here and they don't know that social media is a very important aspect of mm -hmm. their career. Right. So how did you like what was your strategy with this For social media? Social thing? media like, I'm, and keeping it totally honest. And there's one thing I, I, I told two, three people who have a lot of followers and who was just like, man, you got like 50,000 followers. I got like 300. Da, 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 mm -hmm. da. I'm like, you know, the difference between me and you, I got bread. My money's straight. Mm -hmm. You got to get your own together. Another thing, I had 50,000 people knowing who I was before social media came out. Gotcha. So... That's nothing, and everything that 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 you doing, I done that on a personal level. You feel me? Like 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 what I do on social media is stuff I do every day. It's no uh, with it, no skits, no none of that. It's yeah, just no it's skits. just it's just natural things that I do, and all those things I do, I've done throughout my life in the neighborhood. <laughs> I used to like literally, literally. I have like like on the corner that we came up on on Monroe and Willow Street. My friends used to take and make like they they'll tell you stories. Each one of them had all funny, all kind of funny stories about me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Just like you, like like you rewinding time back and they, remember, remember this time. This remember Halloween. The neighborhood used to wait for me to come outside. <laughs> You're a very this, interesting person. I swear to Jeter Christ. Listen, Jeter. I say that like that. Listen, <laughs> you remember. But the neighborhood used to wait for me to come outside, and they have a million. Well, you know, everybody around there can vouch for this. Mm -hmm. I come outside with my Halloween costume on. I walk the streets. Hold up, son. Two, three go inside, come out. By the time we get around the corner, it's probably about 17, 20 people. That's you know what crazy. I'm saying? And we all load up in the cars and, and go to whatever's going on. You feel me? And, mm -hmm. that, and, and then sometimes I just see something my grandfather got laying out. I. Take his suit. <laughs> tight, tight, tight. Can't even zipping it up. <laughs> Put it that on sound right. and run up the street. One time I ran up the street in the in the in the, in the, uh in a diaper. A diaper? Yeah. How old in were a you? you were oh, old enough man. to know. Yeah. Better. <laughs> this 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 I was probably twenty one. Twenty one. Twenty, twenty one years old, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Slim, fine, sexy. Oh boy. Nice little chest. Cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? So all that, that that goes on on social media. That's who you as are. As far as with me, yeah, that's 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 me on a daily basis. And that's good because you have personality. Mm -hmm. And as an artist, you should, you got to have the whole package these days. Right. Nobody wants to sell bore, a boring performance. You right. know, you got to have personality, interact with the people. So I think you're doing a damn good job with that. Right. It, it seems like you didn't have five Red Bulls, but I promise you he had nothing. <laughs> <laughs> he just came in here ready to go, active. Yes, yes. So, so you do believe that the uh, social media is a pivotal thing to have as an artist? Man, is it? Listen, listen. No CDs like, anymore. Listen, check this out. And it's real rap. I didn't really notice it because this is my second page I had. The first page, it got deleted. I had like eight or 7,000 followers on it. Mm -hmm. And uh, it got deleted for something stupid I did. But, you know, this is the second page <laughs> I have. And from the first page... One of my good friends who uh, created the 0017, mm -hmm. his name Mighty, you know what I'm saying? Mighty told me, he like, Mo, man, you got like 50,000 followers. He like, man, that's like 30 grand. I'm like, what you mean? Mm. He like, out of those 50, at least 30,000 of them, uh, get whatever you're trying to purchase. I mean, get uh, purchase whatever you have. If you have any kind of merch, your T-shirts, your CDs, you know, headbands, whatever you have, man, they have people who follow you. So a lot of them ghost followers, but a lot of them will, you know what I'm saying, follow your steps yeah. all the way through. You know what I'm saying? And and I, I really didn't understand it until he broke it down to me like that. You feel me? Because he done so well with the 0017 gear, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, to, well, to the point he he was actually, he have, have slippers. Uh, like jeans, hats, polo. Uh, you know, all, no, all, mm -hmm. all the stuff that you don't see. Oh, okay. You feel me? He he have all of that. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, when he when he sat down and showed me that, you feel me? I'm like, wow. So I just thought that's when I created the uh the whole logo and everything for this. You know, this little company I got called BBG. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So when I started that. 
people was buying, you know what I'm saying, the sweaters, the joggers, the hats, you know what I'm saying? So Oh, they definitely supporting you. I told you right. like three people sent me your video oh, yeah. of Valentine's Day. Yeah. <laughs> so you definitely got the people behind you. <laughs> and I also see you have a new single behind you. Yeah, yeah. She my dog. She my dog. How that came yes, about? Lord. Um actually Cuz you said you were single. Yeah, 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 man. <laughs> ah. I like the song, dude. So let's talk about this single, She My Dog. How did it, how did it come about? Well, actually, I um, rap, rap music. Mm-hmm. I always done real, real street music. But I never cared about anything else but the guns and the drugs mm-hmm. and, that t- and, the, and the struggle until getting around Fifth Wall Weaving, getting around Partners in Crime, you know what I'm saying? They like no more. You have to do this. You have to do that. Do this that away. Do that this away. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, well, I get a vibe or whatever. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Then I can roll with it. So I just started trying to transition into that. And you know, I was riding. You feel me? And I sometimes I play music. Sometimes I don't. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And the little vibe just came in my head. So I went got with KC, the producer. You know My what boy KC, shout out to him and Kenner. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. You feel me? I went got with the homie. You know what I'm saying? And when he heard the vibe, he was excited about doing the record. All right. You feel me? Yeah. That's what's up. Yep. He was excited about doing it. So you know, we sat in there, brainstormed, and everything, the whatever kind of <laughs> singing thing, he made sure I knocked it out. You know what I'm saying? He like, no, right, we ain't leaving out here until it's done. You mm-hmm. feel me? You know what I'm saying? And right then and there, he started making me. He reminded me of KLC because mm-hmm. that's the kind of man he is too. He you, he don't let nothing come out of uh, out of studio, you know what I'm saying? If it ain't a hundred, yeah, he d- he is that. like that, and this does show a different side of you because when I first heard it before we hit play, I'm like, we must, you know, we're about to wobble or something, yeah, and yeah. it showed a whole different side of you, like something that could be on BET MTV. Mm-hmm. So I salute you on that. You Thank surprised you. me. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Yes. Don't yeah, let the goof in this fool you. <laughs> 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 and you also have a new song, Run 'Em Up. Yeah. That is my joint. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got yeah. Marco on there? Yeah, that's my nephew. I love it. You know what I'm saying, Marco? That's my nephew. He's a singer. You singer. Know. Yes, he's a singer. <laughs> <laughs> Which means 2018, you're going to have a project or anything? Yeah, I do. I actually have one. I And I had it. it it's been put together since... Uh, the 99s and the 2000s? No, since the... <laughs> <laughs> Nah, since like 2016, I just held it. Oh. You know what I'm saying? But on there, on there, I have um, I have currency featured on there. I have okay. Marco as as a fact. I have uh, Mo Sosa on there. Uh, FG Famous on there. I have Swag. Have um, Y1D Danger. Kevin Gates on there. Um, oh, you got big names. Yeah, I got Kid Kid on there. Got a record with uh that I done with Wayne on there. Got a record I done with Juvenile on there, and a record I done with BG on there. You know mm. what I'm saying? You know that was before he went to jail. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel me? So it's songs that people uh haven't heard before. You know what I'm saying? So when are you planning to release this? Uh, when the buzz get a little stronger. Okay. You know. And you heard you heard you heard what he said. When the buzz gets a little stronger, right. which means you want your street team and everything to be already set. And I, and I, Before and I, you come to the radio, exactly. Mm-hmm. I want everything to be right, and you know what I'm saying. And, and once it do release it, you know it, it just have a little anticipation on it. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying. But but I got some 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 real real good songs on there. All right. You know. What I'm saying? I want to be the first to hear it. Yeah. Heck yeah. <laughs> Is this year? Are you still waiting on the bus? Uh, this year, this, it, it should be this year. Like like, cause I you know it's it's a different little uh few few little plans, you know because like like when I started music it. Like everything was different, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. Like everything was different. You feel me? You it, sound like Mia X. She said the same saying? thing. Yes, and and I'm quite sure it was different than what it was when she started. Right. You know what I'm saying? But like every everything different. Everything is really at your fingertips, and you have to, you know what I'm saying, make a person believe just straight off of you. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like when when I when I started music, I I watch, you know how Master P used to send. His his uh his street team into the nightclubs where I used to be at you know what I'm saying just mm-hmm. having fun and I see uh this guy named Mo from off the Parkway and John Henry you know what I'm saying they used to come through with with records mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying 
just to get to the DJs. You feel me? It's not like that no more. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like sometimes they ask for it. Sometimes you got to email some things or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So everything is just totally different. You feel mm-hmm. me? But when I, when me and my brother Buzz really started, you know what I'm saying? P Tom on MT, it was like we were making mix this and we'll give them away. But before Katrina hit, we were getting paid concerts mm. off of mixtapes. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, we really was putting down some real hard music. And that's one thing my partner Kevin Gates told me. He like, dude, why you switched off into the bounce? He said, man, you you and your brother had this. Y'all had the game, dude. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I'm like, well, you know, I love party music. So that's why I do that. You mm-hmm. feel me? I love to see women happy. That's why I do that. Right. You feel me? But with the rap, the the, the real rap, like, man, it's people couldn't stand next to us with that. You know that's what I'm saying? That's crazy. Like, real talk. You feel me? Like, that's how, I, like, when we met Lil Wayne, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? We were with Weeby, and we done a halftime show for Dylan and Xavier. And in that halftime show, while the game was going on, we were in the, uh, in the uh in the back park wherever in the room wherever we was, <laughs> and I'm like man Wayne in here I'm like man let's start a cipher, you feel me? So I got Sess full five. That's before he put the full five on his name. He was just Sess. Yeah, he was Sess. Okay. He know. We gave him that full five. <laughs> he yeah. ain't tell me all that. Yeah, he know. You hear me? It's a lot. You'll find out a whole lot. With me, a whole lot. Listen, with Sess, um, this before you know I had Main with us before he got with Wayne. Uh, Mac Man, before he got with Wayne, Man was with us. We been, uh, me, my brother, his name MT. Well, you know he do gospel music now. His name okay. Lamont Lacour, you know what I'm saying. But we all back there, and I started, you know, started the cipher. And mm-hmm. my little brother told me he heard Wayne ask one of his partners. He said, "Man, that's the real P. Tomo." And dude, was like, yeah, he like, I ain't know that dude was good like that or whatever. Mm-hmm. So that's when Wayne rapped. And he rapped that song, uh, Murder Capital, In the Key to Survive, It's Killer. Yeah. And that's all we wanted, just to hear Lil Weezy rap so my brother could come right behind him. And then my brother came, and we just left it up to Wayne and my brother. And that was Clash of the Titans right there. That's you feel me? crazy. Yeah, and then after that, Wayne was like, man, this my number. You feel me? We hood. We need to, you know, rock with each other. You feel me? Which means you wasn't shy. No, indeed. You, you made it happen. You yes, took Lord. advantage of the situation. hmm Mm-hmm. That's how we me? got you on this show. Yes, Lord. You <laughs> heard me? I got to be next. <laughs> you already there. That's all I'm saying. So yeah, let me ask you a question. What do you think the city is missing in order to elevate our artists down here? What the city is missing? Oh, man, listen. Listen, we can say that we have no unity. We can say that. We can say artists don't support. Mm-hmm. We can say DJs don't support. We can say that. Oh, we not doing what Atlanta does. Atlanta uh, rappers support each other. Support each other. They don't. They support who they want to support. Because mm-hmm. I be in Atlanta, in New York. Any any other city going to have the same story New Orleans have. Bucket of crabs. Really? They, yes. And it, feel like, it does yes. feel like Atlanta helped. Their artists a they little help more. Who, they help who they want to yeah. help. Okay. You feel me? Like, mm-hmm. like, 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 if you look, it's, it's certain circles. You know what I'm saying? But the whole thing that's missing down here is the DJ love. Mm-hmm. You feel me? The DJ love. And, 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 and here, well, in other places, before Katrina hit, me and my brother, we had moved to Atlanta. And we seen how the DJs run their city. Mm-hmm. You feel me? But the DJs are like gangs. You know, you like have, clicks, gangs. You have the super friends. You have Legion of Doom. You have uh, uh, the affiliates. You have, uh, you know, you just just different. And Young Jeezy, the one made me really realize it on one of his songs on his first album. Mm-hmm. I got some super friends in the Legion of Doom. I know Hitmen. That's some DJs. We, we affiliates. You know, he was mm-hmm. naming the DJ clicks. You know what I'm saying? So with that, those artists, you know what I'm saying, gravitate to whatever clique of DJs they're dealing with. You know what I'm saying? But if you look, you 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 really don't see all those artists on on right. on on all each other projects. You'll see, you know, Two Chain probably deal with T I and and Jeezy. And mm-hmm. then 
Gucci man, he deal with the Migos and you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you know, but these artists still have they they still have big names, but all of them don't work with each other like that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like people people they just they just see that it's coming from Atlanta and they got him on and him on it and boom, man, all them people work like that. No. And everybody popping in you Atlanta. Feel me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's just their grind, but it's the DJs. So our DJs here, you feel me? That's why I like 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 listen. I'm gonna be totally honest, and I know everybody. You gotta be go honest ahead. on this show. Check this out. That's one of the reasons why I got Rockefeller 2.5 Party Bus, because the music that's been played in the streets is not good music. Mm-hmm. That's why the clubs don't be packed. You feel okay. me? Because they're choosing to play music that's 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 not homegrown. You know what I'm saying? And even though a lot of homegrown music ain't good, good, good music. music. But they do have music that is very compatible to the stuff that they plan from other places. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You have to break your artists. You have to break your city at one time. You know what I'm saying? You could go to you could go to to, to, to New Orleans and you'll hear this on here on the top, on the top ten. You feel me? You go to Baton Rouge and you hear something totally different on the top ten. Right. Then you go to Houston, you hear way totally different. You go to Little Rock, Arkansas, you hear way totally different. Now. You go to these places, you're going to hear the same songs. Right. You know what I'm saying? No, I agree with that. I do think the DJs <laughs> down here don't break record, records, you especially if you knew and they never heard of you. It's you not going to happen. And, and, that's, <laughs> and listen, and listen, and I'm just being totally honest with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, like people who actually, who really, really, really know me, they know my struggle. They know where I came up from. They know one thing. I, I, have, I don't have fear of nobody. You feel me? And, and if I don't feel like I'm getting my just do I'm going to speak on it. Mm-hmm. Um, you know what I'm saying? And I'm going to react on it. And sometimes I react in a crazy way. But, you know, it's going to happen. You right. feel me? And I'm not about to play no kind of games with nobody in the city of New Orleans from all the work I put in. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can name at least five to ten DJs who I actually had my hands on and walked them in the door and put them in the clubs, put their name on radios mm-hmm. running Ten times, ten, the commercials running ten times a week. You know what I'm saying? Uh, ten times a day, three times a week on Q93. You know what I'm saying? And people knowing who they are. I go from this club to that club. You call me the host. I say, well, look, if you're going to give me the host, you could get a two-for-one package. I'm going to bring this DJ with me right here. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? And so that's you real, real life. It, yeah. a, a, a lot of them. A lot of them. You know what I'm saying? That's real, real life, and that's the kind of man I am. You feel me? If I'm going up on the elevator, I ain't gonna leave it up there. I'm gonna hit the one button and bring it back down. You feel me? And, and that's you, the type of people we need. You gonna come up here too? You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. that's how I live. And 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 like I said, with with, with, with the records I have, I know what it take in New Orleans. Like the she my dog, I know what it take in New Orleans for that song to work. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know, I I know what I gotta do. You feel me? Because that song is 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 a, a mainstream song. It is. It's a song that's 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 uh, dominant for radio. You feel me? But in the streets of New Orleans, that record got to put a beat behind the record. You know what I'm and saying? And I just talked to S80 about that. I was like, why is it that New Orleans only support when it's a beat behind it? Because if it's original, right? Be like, ah. Right. That's the culture. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's the culture. If, if it's an original rap song. You know what I'm saying? Then then they probably get up on it. But anything dealing with 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 like R and B, yeah, it's slow. Anything dealing with that, then yeah, it's going. In the you streets, know what I'm it's slow. So you know that that's exactly what it is. But like as far as the DJs go, you you gotta you you cannot support what I do. Mm-hmm. You have to. You feel me? Because I open doors. You know what I'm saying? I open doors from from from, and I'm talking about. DJs that I dealt with who was at other clubs getting paid $75 a night. When they came by me, you ain't getting under $350. Mm. You feel me? Holidays, you going to get $500, partner. You know what I'm saying? I might turn into a DJ. I'm going to come holler at you. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? On a real for real. Yeah. You feel me? Like, ain't, ain't, ain't none of that. So you, you, you can't hold back on me. You feel me? You, you know you got to be like, Mo, yeah. I got you. You feel me? Send me something. You know what I'm saying? Because I got DJs in, like I say, in Baton Rouge. You the plug. You know what I'm saying? Mo, whatever you got, I man, you, I don't care who on it. Mm-hmm. Send it to me. And we going to roll. You know what I'm saying? Alexandria, the same way. Lake Charles, the same way. You know what I'm saying? And it's like that. But but the DJ, that's that's the day. Hey, they run the city. They run the city. Well, if you are a DJ and you're listening, <clears throat> you already know what you need to do. Mo just gave you that. Good advice, right, Mo? 
Yes. You dropped some mm-hmm. knowledge, some tea. Real I'm not talk. even thirsty no more. <laughs> 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 well, let me tell you, before you go, I do appreciate you stopping by, hollering at the girl. Mm-hmm. And this mm-hmm. is a side of Mo you probably never knew of. He's so, like, such a clown on Instagram <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> but the boy is ve- very talented. He got a fire pin on him. He definitely could write. Yes, yes, so, love. So, before you go, what advice do you want to give up-and-coming artists? Up-and-coming artists. And I feel like I'm still one of them, you know man? So, listen to me. You feel me? You gotta grind hard and know who to deal with and who not to deal with. You know what I'm saying? And whatever you got, just trust the process, man. Trust, trust the, the process. process. Cause like like for real, for real, man. Me and my brother, we've been at it forever. You know what I'm saying? And and we didn't been there. We didn't had contracts in front of our face. You know what I'm saying? But we just ain't take anything. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like we just ain't take anything. But just just trusting the process, man. Trusting God. You feel me? And follow what you wanna follow. You feel me? But just know, it don't happen overnight. At man. all. Trust that. It don't happen overnight. You feel me? And find your DJ who got a lot of DJ friends. You hear me? <laughs> <laughs> you hear me? In Jesus' name. Well, Mo, before you go, tell them where they can get your new single and how they can get in touch with you. All right. Um, The new single, She My Dog, and Run Em Up. Both of them is on iTunes and Spotify. You can uh, stream it. You can download it. You know what I'm saying? On iTunes and Spotify under P-Town Mo. She my dog. P-Town Mo. Run them up. And also, you can follow me and contact me on Instagram at P-Town Mo. I have Facebook. I have Twitter. But Insta is my wave. You heard me. So It definitely is. Yes. You can hit me there if you want. You know, if you want to do anything. If you want to book, want to feature one host, one Rockefeller 2.5, baby. <laughs> you hear me? Right you there. P Town Mo on Instagram at P T O W N M O E. You hear me? Yeah, the spell it for Like a dog. Like a dog. Some people be leaving the, uh, the E off it. <laughs> How they leave a Z off the songs? Yeah. You can't leave a Z. So you can't leave a E. You hear me? <laughs> <laughs> See, he be having that pen ready. But anyway, before you go, you have to say yes. Yes. I need a oh, number. Let me get it. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> go yes to yes, yes to yes. See, it ain't with an E, it's with an A. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's with the A. Okay. <laughs> I'm Shiva Songs. P Town Mo is in the building. It's Q93. That's why she my love. That's why she my love. She my love.